Hi guys, this is how to play the most common blues riff that's kind of used in classic rock guitar. It's a simple riff that has countless variations that's used in, in riffs such as Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin and even Johnny Be Good. So um, definitely this is going to be absolutely essential for you if you're wanting to be a classic rock or blues guitarist and if you want to be able to play rhythm guitar in a lot of songs and just trying to try and make that classic rock riff sound sound kind of cool um, this is most commonly used in a 12 bar blues in the key of A so um, I'll be talking you guys through what that means as well in the lesson but first of all let's get straight off in into the, the riff itself and um, Remember to subscribe if you do like this lesson and there will be more notes and tabs to help you out with this riff on the website in the links below at andyguitar.co.uk Okay, our kind of status quo riff as I like to call it um, Our standard blues riff, we're playing an A power chord so I'm picking the fifth string and the fourth string together with a first finger at the second fret of the fourth string that gives us our A power chord and then there's a cycle of four notes so we're going to pick one two three four with just our first finger one two three four and your third finger goes down on the third strum and it goes down on the fourth fret of the same string as the first finger is on so one if I just have the pick in there as well one two three four one two three four and most people keep their first finger down when they're playing this riff though you can take it off if it's a bit too much of a stretch for you or even use your little finger as well if the stretch really is too much for you um, you can also put a cap up maybe third fret or fifth fret which just means that all the frets are a little bit closer together allowing that stretch not to be too much of a, an issue and for you to focus on cycling this riff getting your picking hand fast enough one and two and three and four and hopefully you can hear that is just a cycle of four notes one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four we can do the same thing if we move your first finger up a string so physically higher so we're playing an E power chord and then just do the same thing on that string with a bit more overdrive Back to the A. And as I say, just as a quick demonstration, this action, this riff gets varied to create numerous other blues riffs. And it's um, manipulated to make any other record, more song specific recognizable riffs like um, Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin. Um, but to keep it simple for this one lesson, this is what we want to be doing. But we want to also be able to do it one string down as well to be able to put it in the chord sequence that we're going to try this in. So this is down at a D power chord, first finger on the third string. Third finger also going down fourth fret of the third string, so the same string as this finger, always, always, always. 
and we're playing the middle two, D and G. And then we want to be able to put it into this chord sequence. So this chord sequence is a 12 bar blues in A. One bar of this riff is one and two and three and four and. That is written on this sheet as just a bar of A. So we're using this sheet as a guide to be able to play this riff in the chord sequence that we want to do it. So even though we have a riff, one and two and three and four and, that's one bar of A. Four bars of A, which is what we need, would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Second bar. Third. Fourth. And that's the end of that fourth bar, so that is the very top line. It should be around there somewhere, I don't know exactly where. Um, and then it, we go down to the D string, so we just slip down. Three, four, one, two, three, four. That is the length of time that those two Ds last for on the chord sheet. One more time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we go back to doing the riff on A for two bars. So that's the first eight bars done. In a 12 bar blues, everything tends to happen in the last four bars down at the bottom, kind of down here somewhere. So we've got a bar of E, and then back to the bar of A. for the last two bars. Now that's a little bit of a simplified version to many versions you may see of a 12 bar blues in A. It's slightly simplified because it's the same as the recommended song that I would do straight away to, to put this riff into an actual song, which is um, the Georgia Satellites, Keep Your Hands to Yourself. I got a little change in my pocket, going jing a ling a ling I'm gonna call you on the telephone. Give you a ring. That's this chord sequence without those last two bars of A at the end, there's just silence there. Um, but this chord sequence allows you to kind of keep it going, play it onto a drum beat, or see if you can just cycle that, that chord sequence um, and, and keep this riff going so that you know you can use it in that song, that you know you're ready for that. Um, so a quick demonstration as I shout through of each of the chords substituted for this riff. So again, one bar of A on the sheet means do this. That's one bar, one, two, three, four. Your third finger goes down on beats two and four. Um, so I'm going to play this riff, and feel, I'll count us in, so feel free to play along with me. And, but the goal is to try and know where you are in that chord sequence while you're playing the riff. For some people that's easier to do than others, so I'm going to go nice and slow so that everyone can keep up with this. Ready with your A power chord, and your riff in A from the top of the chord sequence. Ready? One, two, three, four, one. Third bar of A, fourth bar of A, then we move down to D. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, back to A. Last line, we're on an E, so we move up to the E chord. And finish on the A. One, two, three, four, and that's the whole sheet. That would then just repeat. Um, I just want to mention that I am palm muting slightly, so putting the outside of my picking hand on the bridge of the guitar. I have a lesson on that if you've never come across it before, so search Andy Guitar Palm Muting in YouTube and you'll find it. But um, it just got, the palm muting cleans it up a little bit, so without, and then with. Sounds a little bit heavy and I think it's a really good idea to, to start by palm muting just to keep your hand locked in because you may find it very difficult to stay on just the strings that you're picking. 
that will come in time. Don't worry too much about it, but you want to be listening. Listen so carefully to make sure that every time you play the riff, it sounds like this and not kind of, you know, hitting the thinner strings or hitting the thicker strings. Otherwise, you find you just don't hear the riff. It's like, hang on, I'm doing the right things, but where's the riff gone? Ah, there it is. It was the picking hand that was making the mistake, not this hand. So when you've got those things, let's have one play along of this chord sequence along to me from the very top and we're going to go through the whole thing twice go through it at least four times when you're practicing this and then have a go at playing along to georgia satellites keep your hands to yourself really cool song check it out but play along to me first of all so from the top 12 bar blues in a with this riff ready in a one two three four two three and four then down a string two back to the a up a string and e a one more time one, that's from the first A, second A, third, and fourth, and then down the string again, and an A, and an E, if you've got lost, we're going to start again one more time, from the A, in, one, two, three, four, one, two, Three and four down to a D D the riff in D back to A one and the E finally the A cool let's see if we can do that together without me saying anything so we've started two three four second bar of A change. Ha <laughs> ha! Very cool. That's how to play 12 bar blues in A. Get straight on to check out how to play Georgia Satellites. Keep your hands for yourself. I've possibly made a, a full video on that one already, but try and play that along to the record straight away. You will be able to do it. Check it out. So that's how to play our blues riff and how to play a 12 bar blues in the key of A. Thanks for checking out this lesson. Remember, please subscribe if you do like what I do to get new uploads straight to you. And check out the website at andyguitar.co.uk. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Bye for now.